might have noticed why they were um, piling the slides into the um, into that slide rack is that some of the lay, uh, some of the microscopic slides actually did have information on the back. So. I'm not quite sure what they're doing in this project, but um, there are other projects out there that would do the same thing they were explaining for the fluid preserved specimens. So they, they built a stand such that you can essentially flip them around without losing the specimens out them and then image them from the other side as well. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is what, you know, this is essentially examples of how people handle workflows flows out there. Um, for the dry insect specimens, obviously I showed us what what we do for the, um, for the digitization, the bigger digitization projects, as well as for the research projects, where I was explaining we're keeping really the data capture and the image capture separate, but um, you can go to those websites, so this is ECN, this is this Entomological Collections Network. Some of the presentations that were given in the past um, at these meetings are actually online, which is great. Unfortunately, they haven't done that for the last couple of years. We should probably remind them that they are really great resources. Um, and here is an example. This is at a Harvard um, um, Museum, so it's a, um, it's a fairly large collection too. In this case, you're looking at butterflies, and it's only about 200,000 specimens that we're going to image. Um, other challenges, obviously, identification, not a big deal really. Handling of specimens and breakage, much bigger deal really than for a lot of the specimens we're dealing with. So they decided to go with one of the workflows. I also showed on a, on a diagram where you do the prepare the collection. It's an old guy, a taxonomist who actually knows his species essentially. And then the specimens are being imaged over there and then they come back to data capture. And obviously in this case, it might not only be one person doing the data capture, but you could imagine once they're electronically available, there's a whole bunch of people who can do the, the actual data entry. So it's just a matter of looking around and, and seeing what other projects and how they're doing things and what their workflows are then to go back with all that information in your minds and think of how with the resources we have and um, with what we can do, the staff we have, the challenges of specimens we have, what's the best way of designing our own digitization workflows really. Okay, thank you very much. Are there any more questions? Now it's lunchtime I think.